come, come. What's your name, son? Uh, uh Lucy. What? Oh, <laughs> it's a woman. Lucy, son of Alpheus? Not of... Huh? <laughs> you owe 30 denarii. You can't pay? Give me your hand, daughter. <laughs> So good morning guys. I mean, I should say what's up guys. How you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. And this is the Paul and Morgan, Morgan the, the Paul, Paul and Morgan, Morgan show. show coming to you bright and early 3 59 a.m. to be exact because we are going to be hopping on a plane heading across the USA to be a part of something very special. More on that to come. You all made this trip possible. Morgan, if you could pick one YouTuber to see walking down this terminal right now, who would it be? Don't think, just answer. Michael Spam. Oh, Michael. No, just kidding. We get enough of you, Michael. We oh. need a break from you. So who would it be then? We <laughs> love you, Michael. Hannah Williamson. Wow, so you're talking close friends. Yeah. I'm going to go with Cole LeBrant. Mm. I'd like to have a combo with you, Cole. We made it to Dallas! We need to start saying howdy, y'all, oh. every time we go into a restaurant. Can you do it? No. Morgan <laughs> grabbed a snack at the airport while I was in the restroom, a bag of pretzels, and I come out and there is just a big pile of pretzels on the ground <laughs> at the airport. Somehow she managed to spill half her bag of pretzels on the ground. What's sad is when I opened the bag of pretzels, I was like, yeah, yeah I opened it and I didn't spill them. And then literally immediately it slipped out of my hand. We just woke up from our three and a half hour long nap. The real action starts in the morning, we're going to be heading on set of the television show, The Chosen. We really believe that if you watch this show, like, your life could possibly be changed forever in the best way possible. Yeah, after watching the first episode of it, we were like, man, we believe in it and we want people seeing this. So we're going to help get the word out about the show and get it in front of as many eyes as possible. And also, there's a chance we may be in the show. In fact, that's the plan. <laughs> And another little secret, we need to learn this Jewish dance oh, yeah. for the scene that we're going to be in. So, Morgan, we better get on that. We'll um, have to film us practicing it tonight. <laughs> Stay tuned. Who am I wearing, you ask? Yeah. Let's start off with a Paul and Morgan sop. Go get yours, paulandmorganshow.com. We got some actually Gap jeans. I don't have many Gap jeans, but these fit particularly well. Oh, dear. He's lost it. He's lost it. Paul's second attempt at making his salad. What happened to the first one, babe? So I go to get my water. I make the best salad one could possibly make. I go to get a drink. I come back and the guy is throwing it away in his cart. <laughs> tossed it. He thought that he was done. That's the definition of a tossed salad. Am I right? All right, guys. This is us practicing. Six, seven, eight, nine, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, one, and up, and back, and the circle, and up. <laughs> Baby, you need to step up your dance. It's a whopping 10,000 degrees out today. Dallas's heat is thick. So we are headed to where they film The Chosen. They're about to film the... A wedding at Canaan. Oh, wow! Pardon me. I, I do want you to know that that was just that was <laughs> well, right, we'll, we'll let the audience decide. Okay, we'll let the Kinsey. audience decide. <laughs> the wedding at Cana. Right now, behind that door are the disciples, Simon Peter, and maybe even Jesus. They're staying cool until they're called upon. I hear Peter, he said, that was a good catch, Philip. <laughs> wow. But really what they're talking about is 
pizza. It is outside of um, Simon Peter's house. Hey Morgan, go check out this room, it's sweet. <laughs> What's up guys, so we're on the set of The Chosen and we are with the one and only Justin. <laughs> He's done acting. His main role is associate producer, so we thought what better person than to ask him a few questions about the film. Now, you knew I was available, so you thought <laughs> okay. we can get we him. We were really literally, guys, Justin was literally yeah. our first choice. <laughs> so, Justin, what's your favorite scene? My, my favorite scene, I, I think, has to be just the moment that Jesus redeems Mary. Uh, knew you were gonna say that. The end of the end of episode one, it gets me every time still, and I might I'm an emotional guy. I'm sensitive. I might start crying here, but that idea of this woman is so far gone, possessed by seven demons, that's scriptural. We know that she was possessed by seven demons. Mm -hmm. And you get to a point and, and even if you know, I'm not possessed by seven demons, but I've gone through my my, sure. oh, my yeah. dark moments, yeah. battled depression over the years, and you get where you're thinking, I'm no good, I'm not worthy, yeah. and then Jesus comes along and calls you by name. I'm a jokester, but I'm dead serious when I say this, that there is nothing that you can do that can separate you from the love of Christ. Yeah. And for me, that moment when Lilith is redeemed by Jesus, I want everybody to recognize, to understand the depth of that. I agree. I struggled with depression and anxiety for several years and one day I just had some really strong women pray over me and I just felt Jesus call my name and call me out of that and call me into like just a totally new place where I was free, I was redeemed, I was clean. That scene just encompassed all of what I was feeling in that time. It's just like, whoa! That's great. awesome, Morgan. I love hearing that. Uh, let's turn it around. So, so here, really oh, quickly. Whoa, no, no. You, whoa, whoa. Uh, the scene that I'm looking most forward to in episodes five through eight is okay. the scene that we're shooting right now. Actually, you can't see it, but it's happening down there, just just around the corner. You uh, well, and they go will here, be, take we, a left. We, we, we showed them a good <laughs> amount of the... <laughs> You'll see some of it here. Yeah, yeah, you probably will. The Wedding of Cana. The Wedding of Cana is going to be Power off the house. hook. Yeah, and yes. there's a chance Morgan and I will be in this scene, so just keep a really sharp eye. It's gonna be great, you guys. And Justin, thank And you. keep following these guys. They're oh, great. Yeah. They're so well, fun to have on set, please. and they're smart, Thanks, and man. they love each other. They love the Lord, and I think they love you guys, too. Right? Yeah, we do, we oh, do. And Justin, sure. can we get you, before <laughs> we roll out, to say the phrase we always say in our videos? <laughs> have hope and be free. <laughs> Did I do it right? Bye, guys. No, for sure. <laughs> Familiarize our audience with some of the terminology that you hear on set. Before we're rolling, you'll hear a series of terms. Pictures up, lock it up, hold the work, and then we'll transition to rolling. And then you'll hear our audio, our boom operator saying sound speeds. And that just means that we are going to do that scene and that you need to be quiet. Right. Thank you, Justin. And then also this, this hand signal means rolling. Like if we're already rolling. We're back, day two, on set. Today is the day that we're going to be extras. We're going to be getting robed in our shamada, I think is how you say it. Um, so we'll show you guys what we're wearing here in a second. Hey, we're not supposed to be doing this right now. So listen, <laughs> this is my man Matthew. He was the one who got us on to The Chosen. Yes. So thank him. The trouble that was caused. Yes. <laughs> he is an executive producer, Matthew. Why should people watch The Chosen? I always say one word, authenticity, right? That my friend who made The Lord of the Rings, Mark Gordeski, okay, said that you can't reverse engineer authenticity. People can smell it and they can tell if it's for real. And we've worked really hard. If you have a religious background or not, it doesn't matter. We've worked really hard to bring this period to life. So I feel like it's a, it's appealing to anybody. And that sounds like, a, no, it, it oh, is. this it's is for everybody, but it, really is. it is. It's a Christian yeah. film that really can engage a non-believer. A lot of people know the stories, they know the IP, but they've never kind of felt it. Matthew, do you have any final words for the Paul and Morgan fam? Wait, line? Have hope and be free. Have hope and be, line? Free. <laughs> free. literally mistaken Morgan for someone else twice. He has, he has. I, I can't he tell. He literally walked right past me 
kind of like, uh... I, I have not recognized her twice. We're filming the wedding at Cana, and it's a lot of fun because we're walking around and doing stuff, and there's actual props that we're supposed to eat and drink. Hello. Hey, man, how are you? You're doing <laughs> a great job. Are these all your job. Instagram friends? And YouTube. Hello, Instagram and YouTube friends. Great actor over here. Make sure you follow him at... At Paul Olegas. <laughs> But what I was saying, there's all these props, but we can actually eat them. So this is super fun. We're drinking out of our goblets. We're uh, eating apricots, nuts, dates, mango. This is the life, you guys. So Morgan, for our viewers who maybe have not been on a set of a film, explain to them what goes on here. What's it like? Well, it's a lot of takes and resets and retakes for the same exact scene, just in a different angle. All right, so we are here with four of the beloved disciples. Can you guys introduce yourselves? Uh, My name is George. I am John, playing the disciple John. I'm Jordan, and I'm playing Little James. I am Kian, and I'm playing Big James. <laughs> I, I'm Giovanni, and I'm playing Thaddeus. Medium. I'm Morgan and I'm playing Morgan. First question, besides your own character, who's your favorite character in the show? Well, I sort of feel, I feel like, like a, an actual brother here. I'm just going to say John likes James and hopefully we'll get a reciprocal answer <laughs> when we come back to my big brother. But I love my big brother. We are the brothers of thunder. Da -da -da. <laughs> That's so adorable. Did you guys hear that sound effect? I kind of like Zebedee, their dad. <laughs> He was yes. a good one. He's, he's, he's a, a fun character. I love his laugh. It's infectious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to go with Zebedee as well. Yeah. If you guys wow. have seen him, he is a character. And he's just very out there, very likable. I think a lot of it has to do with the actor that plays him, too. Yeah, yeah, he's great. Yeah. He's amazing. You know, I think I would say... Uh-oh. I'm nervous. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with my brother. My brother, uh, John. Morgan, <laughs> what about you? My favorite character? Oh. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> I love everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go with Peter, but these four are really moving up quickly. I mean, <laughs> is Peter here? Is well, he doing yeah. this interview? <laughs> One more question for you guys. Lay down your favorite scene of the show. It can be the first four episodes or the upcoming four episodes. Mm. I think the miracle of the fish. Mm -hmm. Is is was very fun to shoot, it's and it's incredible dirt. how <laughs> we we had this. Uh, Dallas called it a green burrito. He's like, you take the green burrito and put it into the. I'm like, how is this gonna turn into fish? And it did. But I'm also looking forward to James and John at the party. We're gonna be uh, chatting up a few a few people. So that's yeah. that might be my new favorite scene. In these four episodes. Um, there's a healing scene that we did. I don't want to say too much about it. Just the energy and the atmosphere on set was great. That day was very fulfilling. I, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but the fish miracle, honestly, that is such a powerful scene. And it's kind of the beginning of a lot of us, like a lot of the disciples coming together. So it's in a way the journey beginning. That's also a good one to watch. John was in both these scenes that they're saying, so kind of <laughs> sensing a theme here. Favorite scenes, John's in and around it. So, so um, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to the scene that uh, we have now in the wedding that we get to check with some people. James and John are single. You guys were awesome. Thanks for being here. Have hope. hope. And, and be free. free. <laughs> you got it that time. I did. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Morgan, or should I say Morgan Magdalene, <laughs> what has been your favorite part being on The Chosen? I'd say my favorite part has been just like when everyone is all together for a scene, like. Having Jesus walking through, having Peter, who's awesome, and uh, all the cast and crew and the cameramen, you begin to think of them as your family. Come on, come on. We're about to film Dallas, let's go, come on. Drew is getting us all the big dogs. Flip it on you, Drew. Oh, this is the man. Let's go. All right, guys. So we are here with the man, the myth, the legend, Dallas himself, the director and co-writer. Couple questions, real quick. Just spitfire questions. Okay. We're all tired. It's almost 3 a.m. Dallas, what is your favorite scene in The Chosen? Well, so far in episodes one through four, my favorite scene is actually the scene near the end of episode four, which is when all the stories come together 
and you see Jesus really show up. It's a calling of Simon and Andrew and James and John. You know, the first four episodes, the first like three and a half, there's a lot of setup. There's a lot of getting to know the characters. Yes. There's some nice moments, but, but it's all leading to, there has to be a climax. There has to be a moment when everyone gets to actually cheer. I think people also are wondering how we're going to pull it off, the miracle of the fish, what it's going to look like. Is it going to live up to it? And we wanted to make it actually emotionally impactful, not just yeah. visually exciting. I feel like that's that was pulled off, and I know that all the things that went into that scene also. So we heard. Yeah, so yeah. Heard. It just uh, it really made it that much more special. Last question: How tall are you? I am a shade under six foot four. <laughs> I was about, I'm on a significant slant. Yeah. He's on a hill, and yeah, I'm yeah, slant. That must be it. I'm sure. Hey, man, we really appreciate you. I'm so glad you guys were here. So we're leaving Upper Room, our first time being there, Upper Room, Dallas, and we're I don't going. Leave. She does. Morgan doesn't want to leave. It was a really, it was a really sweet place. Sweet. We're going to have lunch actually with one of our subscribers. Her dad is the past, one of the pastors at Upper Room. Morgan, do you have any other uh, just really brief thoughts on Upper Room? Was <gasps> it what you were expecting? So good, so good. Spirit was really heavily present. Guys, this is Trinity. She's my sweet new friend. Thank you for social media. <laughs> yes, this is her little um, shadow, Adessa. Send this on YouTube. <laughs> They're awesome. She is subscribed to our channel, which is how we met, which is so cool. She has been such a good host. <laughs> uh, yes, we've just been chatting it up for like a while now. She's so excited. Subscribe YouTube. So guys, we wanted to say that we will be posting the link to the YouTube trailer for The Chosen in the description. Also, we'll post the YouTube link for episode one where you can watch the full episode. Because this project is a crowdfunded project, you all, they do have to charge a little bit for the other three episodes. And that will include like when you download, you'll get the first episode too. Just watch the first episode and you'll be ready to buy them. We'll post the link where you can buy all four episodes below as well. Guys, we are in the airport headed back to Kentucky. Blessed trip to Dallas being on set of The Chosen. Morgan, wrap up the trip in one word. Fun. <laughs> Guys, comment below your favorite part of the vlog, if you've ever seen The Chosen, heard of The Chosen, and if so, what are your thoughts on it? We'd love to hear them. Give this video a thumbs up if you're a fan of the vlogs. All right, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. We will catch you again very soon. Have hope. And be free. You begin to think of them as your family. I think of Peter literally now as my best friend and my brother all in one. Well, we haven't, I haven't said anything to him yet, but, but I know that <laughs> the connection's there. Hello. Hey, man, how are you? Hey.